So you're finished there. Number nine. Is there a greatest common factor? What goes into 12, 8, and 15? You might initially think 3 because 12 and 15, but 3 doesn't go into 8. And then you might think 4 because 12 and 8, but that doesn't go into 15. So actually this doesn't have a greatest common factor. So what we do there is initially start out at the Lizzie method. Lizzie method begins like this. W squared plus... 8w minus 12 times 15, 60. So now, what multiplies into 60 and adds up to 8? What multiplies into 60 and adds up to 8? Well, if you're thinking of your factors of 60, you're thinking of maybe 12 and 5. Okay factors of 60, you're thinking maybe 12 and 5. You, you could have thought 10 and 6, um, but I, I was going to go initially into 12 and 5. So let's see, they need to multiply into a negative. So one of these is negative, one of them is positive. And it has to add up to positive 8, so the 12 should be positive. Is 12 minus 5, 8? Well, no. 12 minus 5 is only 7. 12 times 5 is negative 60, but uh, um, so even though it's pretty close, um, I was actually wrong when I did that. So um, 12 and 5, 10 and 6, uh, maybe 15 in a number. Uh, 60 divided by 15, I think that's 4. 15 and 4, that doesn't add up to 8. Um, how about 60 divided by 8? No. Um, so you just have to keep working on this one. Alright? Uh, keep trying to find the factors of it. What are some more factors of it? If I did 60 divided by 2, that's well, 30 and 2. 30 and 2, that doesn't add up to 8. Two, four, six, ten, twelve. 10, 12. We're having a rough time factoring that one. So right now, we might even just call this one prime. Okay, I'll look at the answers and, um, and get back to you. But right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mark out this work here because I'm not I'm not sure if that's um, even though we can attempt it I think I don't think we found any factors on number nine so uh, so let's skip on to number eleven we do have a greatest common factor here it's a negative sign okay so now I have three r squared plus seventeen r plus ten. You never want to factor these with a negative sign out front. It's just, um, some people do, it's, it's just easier to take out the negative sign and now work the rest of the problem. So now let's do the Lizzie method, which means that we're going to multiply the 3 and the 10. Get r squared plus 17r plus 30. Negative sign. Um, looks like 15 and 2 r plus 15, r plus 2, because 15 times 2 is 30, 15 plus 2 is 17. So this is our answer here. Alright, so I'll post another video on number 9, if I was wrong about number 9, but um, but from what I see, that one, number 9 looks prime to me. So uh, that was page 87 uh, in the Math 1 book.